that year it was a very successful year. We grew over 500 pounds, of, of top notch. I mean, really top notch since the mayor. And uh, these guys wanted to do it again the next year, and they were bringing in money people, right, <laughs> who were just drug dealers. And uh, I didn't feel good about it. I didn't like the people. I didn't like the fact that they wanted to upscale so much. You know, it all became it all became the money. You know, I was more interested in, in the actual growing and seeing what happened and all that. So uh, the next year, they 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 bought 140 acres uh, further away from where we originally grew and uh, went at it. And I was back in California when I got a call in, in July uh, to come out there and help them, and I didn't really want to do that. Uh, but I, I relented because a few of the people, they had sunk everything they had into it. So I went back there to rescue them. And this was hard to believe. They had gone through a whole year of growing this very successful crop and didn't seem to have learned anything because they went from a place that we were growing in, in like bottom land, really rich, beautiful soil. I mean, we had to do nothing to the soil, really. You could put your hand in it, it was, and just reach this beautiful soil. So it was really easy to grow there. Uh, so where did, they, where did they buy this land? They bought it at, you know, another 1,000, 1,500 feet higher, uh, where the soil was rocky and sandy. And additionally, New York State that year had a, had a drought. So yeah, you, I come and look at the plants, they have no, no nutrients and no water, no wonder they're not growing. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I kind of remedied that and got them growing well. And uh, sometime in uh, late August, I had to come back to Oakland. And uh, so I said, you know, I'll, I'll be back and we'll be ready to harvest. Now this crop would have been over a ton, would have been over a ton. Uh, but uh, as I was flying back, they got busted, right? So they lost everything. None of them ended up in jail, uh, partly because New York didn't understand growing at that time. Like they didn't understand. The year before, I was standing in this, this wonderful field, and uh, one of the, the guys came out and he showed me a local newspaper. The headline was that they estimated that the New York State uh, marijuana crop that year would be worth a half a million dollars, right? And I'm thinking, it's worth more right here, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's how little they knew about it. So when they got busted the next year, they didn't end up in jail, they just lost everything. They lost a fortune, right, so. They were lucky uh, back then, though. They were lucky for that, but you know, I mean, I never got busted in my life, never been arrested. And a lot of it had to do with luck, and, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that I didn't personally sell marijuana. Uh, I didn't sell seeds, I didn't sell anything. You know, I made money from my writing and my photography. Uh, and the other was that I didn't take Except, uh, you know, all these offers that come to, come to Hawaii, come to here, you know, uh, you know, do the growing for us, you know, you'll make a lot of money. And that wasn't really my interest so much. You know, I really was fascinated with the plant, the botany, and uh, that's the way I went.